Allah knows that human beings are very hasty in making decisions. So before the time get off track with me, I know it's already 10 past. In the second khutbah, my brothers and sisters, I want to continue a little bit on this angle and on this topic of insan and why we must not be hasty and why we must live this Quranic life and, you know, go the way Allah expects us to go. You know, there's a famous Urdu saying, Allah ke kaam deed hai lekin andheer nahi. You must have heard that. That Allah's work may seem to be slow. You know, you, wait, you want something to get done? So it may seem to be slow. My dua is not accepted. When is this going to happen? How is it going to happen? Allah's work and decision, well, Allah's decision may seem to be slow. But Allah's decision is short. And Allah makes a decision. It's pakka, sure, mazboot, and the right decision. What is best for us? That's how Allah works. But it is us, as Allah says in this verse here, We know a haste, hurry for everything. We do things the wrong way. We cause the wrong things and the evil upon us and deprive ourselves of the good if we go on Allah's sirat al-mustaqeem and we go the way Allah and the Quran and Sunnah says to go. We will have khair, we will have success and we will have the achievement the way Allah expects. In the second khutbah, we will continue with it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us Jannah without reckoning wa akhiru da'wan. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> Thank you. الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا عقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Once more we thank Allah subhanahu wa taala for blessing us to be here to perform the Salat al Jum'ah and to listen to the khutbah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to shower His peace and blessings upon the Holy Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. ويجين أسك الله سبحانه وتعالى تشاور his mercy, his guidance, his forgiveness, and his acceptance upon each and every one of us. and I ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى تشاور unto me the quality of تواكل على الله, the trust in Allah سبحانه وتعالى, the taqwa, the piety, the iman, the faith, the hikma, the wisdom, the ilm, the knowledge. And the ability once more to continue with this responsibility. I put my tawakkal, I put my trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most sufficient. So now that we have reminded ourselves a little bit on human beings, as human beings, Allah has confirm that we are very hasty. That's why it is important as Muslims, as believers, that we always put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A lot of times why we are hasty, it's because we don't put our trust in Allah. If we put our trust in Allah, you know, it's like the law, the law, law enforcement. If you think that law enforcement, if you believe and you trust that law enforcement will handle a situation, thieves broke somewhere and you reported to the police, well, police in America, not many countries, other countries, the police might be the thieves themselves. 
the police might be the thieves themselves, meaning they disappeared so the thieves could come, so they were part of the stealing. But America is, alhamdulillah, a little much different to that. So you know that the police will get the crooks, or well, such and such happens, so you report it to the police. Or you're driving in the, your car on the road, and somebody hits you. Would you come out and beat the person? Would you come out huh, and, and take the person's wallet and say, let's see how much money you have, I'm going to pay for this myself. No, you got a system. You call the police, you get a report, it's to sub submitted to the insurance company, and there is a protocol and a professional procedure to get repaid for whatever has happened. Not like in some other countries, you will start to beat the man, the whole village will come down, there'll be a whole big war, mash up the entire car. Because what has happened? Everybody has taken things in their own hands. Hastiness of the human being. And that's what Allah is telling us. Ajula. Chapter 17, verse 11. Insan, human beings, always want to do things in a hasty way. But if you're in America, you're in Pembroke Pines, you know the police is going to take a report, you call the insurance. Very professional, you wait on the time, and the next thing you know, your car is totally fixed. And you might even get some cash to put in your pocket also. Right? <laughs> you see? Other than that, if you were to make the decision and take the decision to do things on our own hands, you might be in jail. We might be in jail. That's the ajula that Allah is talking about. But what has happened here is that we have put our trust in law enforcement. So we put our trust in the insurance company. So we know the police will take you off it. The insurance company will take you off it. They say, brother, you got an accident? Say, yes, this is what's going on. Say, no, the insurance will take care of it. Don't worry, everything is all all right. So just as we have placed our trust in the hands of the police officer that we gave the report to in law enforcement, just as we have placed our trust in the insurance company, why can't, our, why can't we put our trust in Allah, who is the pilot of our lives?